everyone, and welcome to the chat. I'm Catalina Alers Alers. Now, we do want to go ahead and let you know that Governor Rick Scott may be breaking in, and we may have to toss over to his press conference. But for now, let's get started. We have Henny, Angelia, and Julie all joining the panel today. Yeah. And we got to get into these hot topics because one of them is shocking. So starting with proof of what may be the worst kept secret or worst kept relationship secret in Hollywood. It took four years for Jamie Foxx and Katie Holmes to finally pack on the PDA. They were spotted hand in hand in the sand earlier this week. And look at them. They're so cute. Now, though, they've allegedly been together since 2013, about a year after her split from Tom Cruise. This is the first time they've been seen doing what lovebirds normally do. So why did they have to wait so long? It's rumored that as part of her quickie divorce settlement from Cruz, Holmes had, had agreed not to publicly date anyone until five years had passed following the end of her marriage. What do you guys think? A clause in the divorce settlement? That's, I don't doubt that. That's how you mean, that's how you know there was a lot of money involved. Mm -hmm. oh, a yeah. lot of money. But um, I like both of them. I like Jamie and I like Katie. But I will say, I think what Jamie did was he broke the bro code he, that, that was below the belt. Um, he and Tom were cool. He and Tom were friends. Mm -hmm. And you are now hand in hand walking on the beach with your friend's ex-wife. And according to Tom, they have never had a, Tom and Jamie have never had a conversation about this. Like, mm -hmm. it just Maybe completely... Maybe they weren't really friends then. Maybe everything was for show. Well, I don't know because, you know, it goes all the way. Well, first of all, allegedly they've been a thing since 2013. And uh, Jamie and uh, Tom actually did a movie in 2013 together. Oh, right. Collateral. Collateral. Yes, yeah. yes. But also I had a chance to watch an interview that that Jamie did for Extra, Extra TV yeah. back mm -hmm. in 2012. And it was mentioned about the divorce and he gave such great compliments about Katie and Tom, you know, saying, wishing them well, Tom's gonna be okay, he's a strong guy, blah, blah, blah. He was sorry to see their marriage go by the wayside. And then this, this, that, this, this Maybe he me, was actually sorry at the time. <laughs> oh. I don't think it has anything to do with bro code. I think they worked together. I think they had a working relationship. Yeah. And when you're working with somebody on set, I mean, everything is copacetic. When that, I when tell that you what, movie you come wraps, out my boo, we gonna have a problem. But when that movie wraps, you know, you go your separate ways. But, the, yeah. but their their relationship I, goes beyond the screen, though. It doesn't. It, it might, I'll say it doesn't. And I, I yeah. do have my sources that I know it doesn't. But I've met, I've met Jamie on several occasions down yep, in Miami when I lived there. Mm -hmm. And my good friend, Claudia Jordan, is, was really, really good friends yep, with him. Yep, and, and she he, made some comments about them and she in a has, positive way. It, she was, and they were positive. She was actually speaking positive about mm -hmm. them. But with that being said, he actually sliced her out of his life. And they were really good friends. And so I really think that it just has to do with him being very private. Mm -hmm. He's a very yeah. private person. So you think it's okay for and him I to be dating that, I, I mean, I'm not going there. I mean, that's, yeah. not, that's not for me to judge whether it is good for him it's or not. Code. But, but I think that. the reason that all of this was very private for so long is because he is such a private person. He is incredibly, you don't think he he was incredibly was private. No, do I don't you, think it has to do with if, that. Because, I mean, not only that, I mean, he's never released the names of his mother, mother the, the, the children. Mother, yeah. He has two girls, yeah. and he's never released the name and of I the mom. And I think that's to protect keeps, his kids, not to protect her. But I think he keeps her. his private life private, and I think he's Some kept it, girl, Katie private, <laughs> and I don't think he's kept it from the public for any reason other than they want to keep their lives private. It's got to be incredibly Except for this part. hard well, to then, but be this is a, I'm a celebrity for both of them and to try and keep that private and to keep it quiet. I mean, you want something of Especially with Katie well, Holmes because her life has been under such a microscope mm -hmm. since she started dating yeah. you know, Tom Cruise, and it just blew up from there. We all remember him jumping on the couch yeah, on, on Oprah. Oprah. Yeah. And so she's been under this mi microscope for so long that I'm really impressed that she's been able she keeps Surrey, their daughter, out of the yeah. limelight really That's well, good. too. So I'm impressed mm -hmm. that they're able to keep their relationship under wraps right. for five years. And what if good Tom approves of this and, and he appreciates knowing where Katie is and if he's good friends with Jamie Foxx, then maybe... Well, I don't think they're friends that? anymore, honey. No. Mm -hmm. I'd be afraid I'm to sure. Well, as long as she's happy. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 there are some reports <laughs> out there about some negative things, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, listen, we're going to move on now <laughs> I'd be afraid. to today's <laughs> topic of can't this just cannot be true so two people just scored a what was your worst first date story that no one is going to be able to beat so here's what happened a guy in england he met a woman on tinder last month and on their very first date she had to she had to go she had to release her bowels well when she was done the toilet would not flush so in a panic she tried to well this is disgusting <laughs> she reached her hand in the toilet with a tissue and, it doesn't, it, <laughs> and she grabbed it and she tried to sling it out the bathroom window, 
But guess what? She ended up getting stuck in the window herself. Oops. The fire department had to come and rescue her. And of course, the guy did a crowdfund to replace the window because the fire department had to break the window to get her out. And believe it or not, he says, huh, he and the girl are talking about going on a second date. Mm. They must have some real good chemistry to get past this. No, no. <laughs> and did he take the picture? Was he the one that was he like, must have good been. He had to be. Walk. He was the only one. He was the only one there. But that's um, so funny. I, I, that's as mortifying. pessimistic as you are, or mm -hmm. you kind of do you think this is a setup? Do you think this really, really happened? Okay. Because now they're making money off of it. It, it, yeah, but it's not a lot of money. I think the most he raised was $1,000. He just needs and to he, replace the window. Yes, three fifty to replace the window, and they claim that they're going to give the remaining of the money mm. to the fire department fund. Oh, I that's hope that's cute. true, that's but good. now if it was a whole lot of money, I would be like, yeah, shade. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's some shady beep. Literally, right. but in this case, it was only $1,000. I'm not sure, but I don't understand why. Why did she have to go that far as to dig in and throw it out the window? I mean, I mean it was the first day. Kids. First Where it doesn't even bother her anymore. It doesn't Maybe. Even I know, but I mean, first date jitters like is like nothing else. Like you'll do anything to make sure you have a good impression. This obviously was not the How best way to do it. How do you go to the bathroom on the first date? I right. That was, that my was stomach isn't functioning How do you go normally. To the <laughs> Who's able to go have a BM in the in the bathroom oh, besides you somebody? You're <laughs> so precious. That's not happening. You know on the what? First Maybe date. she had the jitters. <laughs> And she could oh, not she hold had her the nervous stomach. Boo -boo. The, the, yeah, okay, she had the nervous, nervous craps, boo -boo. and she couldn't yeah. hold it. Maybe oh, so. No. I don't know, but oh, that was disgusting. And the fact that he, he said he helped her. He helped he her did. try to. He did. To, that to was so did. nice of him. In between to get it out. That's why. I mean, that, their chemistry must be really great for him to help her. And they're still talking about going on a second date. Good for you. She guys. could have just said, "Honey, where's the plunger?" Uh huh. So who's no, that, because who's then that goes your secret. But who, who's, who's had a, a crazy first date? Have any of you had any crazy first dates like this? Anything? Like you? It sounds like you did. I don't. Mine's not too crazy. Mine was just kind of a, I went out on a first date with somebody and they actually had, I, I don't know what the situation was, if it was a wife, a baby mama, a girlfriend, somebody who was obsessed. They up. actually followed us. Ooh. Yes, followed us on a date. And so whenever he dropped me off, she got out of her car and went after him. Thank goodness oh. after him and, and not me. Yeah. And the two of them had it out in the front lawn and I said goodbye. Oh my God. Front, well, my your front line. I am not about drama. <laughs> Do not contact me again. Wow. So I have no idea to this day what happened. You know, so I'm that's really the only have, drama I've ever had on a first date. I don't really <laughs> have any drama, drama first date ish, other than, you know, went out with the guy that was um, a little vertically challenged and I would like. So it was really <laughs> he weird. He was short. At the, he was too short. Well, for yeah, and it was really weird that at the end of the date when we went to embrace each other to say bye. I mean, his face was <laughs> literally smack dab between my girls, oh. and I thought that he was. He must have been calling you nonstop after that. Mm, I'm just He's saying. like, can we hug you again? Can we get another hug in? Oh God, right, we're we're gonna wrap before I have to tell my embarrassing story. So coming oh. up next, a decision that will put 800,000 so-called dreamers at risk for deportation. We discuss how Congress can make a difference with Attorney Seth Paget when we come back.